Hi friends, welcome back to Amazing Women's World. In this video, I've come up with making of designer pleated kurta. As you know that I'm coming with the reuse of old fabrics into new creations. For this project, you would require two and a half meters fabric for the kurta and one meter for pleats joining to the kurta. And as you know that this is the Banaras sari, so I'd be using this for pleats. Previously also I have shown 2 to 3 projects on this and for the bodies with the length of 12 inches I would be using this. This I am showing for the front panel. Firstly I would give the markings on this. Place the body sloper on the fold of the front panel and give the markings till the armhole upper burst line. The bodice length is of 12 inches. I am giving the markings on two pieces kurta that means yoke pattern which is of red one in the pics I have shown. You can also do the same with the single piece as I have shown the black kurta. Pick anything as per your requirement you can go ahead. Now give the seaming allowances of one and a half inches towards the sides, quarter inch towards armhole and the shoulder line. Place the lining underneath and cut accordingly on this marked lines. Now mark for the neck deep of 6 inches and I would be marking U shaped neckline. Give the seaming allowances of 1 cm and cut on the marked lines. The yoke bodice would look like this. Now mark 1 inch away from the neckline, connect with the straight line from the shoulder line to the waist line. Here on this line I would be giving the slit. Now I will join the strips. For this, towards right side 1 inch strip and towards left side 2 inches strip. This will make the placket. So almost done with the neck bodies of the yoke pattern. Let us align all these together and start sewing. Firstly join the neck lines of the lining with the bodies giving the basting stitch. Now towards the left side slit, I will be joining this 2 inches strip to prepare the placket. Start joining, placing right on right and start sewing. Now double fold the strip like this. Concealing the raw edge and give the top stitch. If you want to go ahead with the black pick which I have shown with the single piece, give the slit just away the neckline from the shoulder line to the hemline and then join the 1 meter fabrics for the pleats and follow the same instructions like how I am showing now. done with the blanket and towards another slit I will be joining the one inch strip
double fold the one inch strip place it right on right and give the top stitch this is how it looks now flip it to another side giving the piping look just adjacent to this piping so it Also you can join buttons, thermocol balls, anything else for the designing. You can see here the thin piping. Now lay this right on the left side placket and join it. If you want you can also join hooks and eyes but here I am joining giving the top stitch. Here you can see both the shoulders is having the same length. There is no change in the shoulder length. And I have given the enough neckline marking which I can drape it easily. You can also join the beads like this placing in the center and join both the slits. These are all optional as per your designing you can give anything you want. Now we will place this right on left placket just adjacent to the piping start sewing. So this is how the piping would look in the front and towards back you can see the placket. See there is no change here on the shoulder line. See almost done with the bodies. Now we will design the bottom of the kurta. 2 meters I am taking. Fold it into half that is 1 meter and on that 1 meter give the center notch place the yoke bodies and give the markings of the waistline on this I will place the body sloper again and give the remaining markings such as waistline hip line that means you should place the sloper on the fold Extend this to the required length. I would be marking till above the knee length. Giving the flare. Just extending the hip line. Also mark the seaming allowances of 1 and half inches towards sides. Start cutting on the marked lines. Now we'll in the bodies with the yoke pattern matching the center notches. Also extend parallelly the slit markings. Till the bottom hemline you have to give the markings of the straight line. Now we'll cut on this marked line. Ensure that you have given the markings towards left side. Now double fold quarter inch the hemline and give stitch line. That means concealing the hemline. Now 
and this is 1 meter banaras fabric I'll join both the ends with the given slit placing right on right start joining both the edges of this piece should be joined with the kurta slit So you have joined this Banaras piece in the slit joining. Now we have to give the pleats. Both the pleats should be of opposite direction and all the pleats should meet in the center notch. As you can see here the center notch. I'll be giving the one inches pleats the first pleat should be on the top and start giving the forward pleats till it reaches to the center notch now I reach it towards the center notch I'll secure it with the pin The same should be done towards the right side giving the reverse pleats and should meet in the center notch. The gear of 1 inch is more than enough. It's up to you. You can increase or decrease the length as per the gear you require. Also this side I'm securing with the pins. Now I'll give the gentle press on the pleats. This is how it looks after pressing. Now I'll give the basting stitch. Ensure that the pleats have settled properly. Now you can see here how beautifully the pleats have been aligned opposite to each other and also the downside pleats with the extended pattern. Now we'll end the yoke pattern with this bottom kurta ensure to match the notches also the slit join both together placing right turn right and give the stitch line with half an inch seaming element start sewing And I'm done with this pleated kurta. See how well the pleats have been assembled with the bodies. 
here i have shown with the two patterns that means yoke have joined with the bottom of the kurta but also you can do with the single piece of the kurta from shoulder line to the bottom hemline for a change i have given the bodies in the yoke pattern to match with the pleats now i'll stick this stone line drops like this on the piping also giving this mango patch with the dory hangings these all are optional to give the designer look i am sticking this patches where i am joining this mango patch i am giving the stitch like this so that i can stick in the center on the kurta use your old fabrics and remake into new creation get ready to watch the final outcome the simple u shape neckline giving the slit defining the slit with the pleats joining and creating it to the new designer garment it's really turned out pretty well this ethnic kurti will be the right outfit for the party wear and the pleats with the extra gear will give the stunning appearance pull out all your old fabrics and create into new which is lying on the wardrobes unused try this for your loved ones they would love to wear it the elevated border with the pleats defining the kurta are giving the ravishing looks with the extended gear I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Having any doubts, do write to me in the comment section. Do not forget to like this video to support me. Also leave your valuable suggestions and recommendations which means lot to me. Share and subscribe to watch more videos of latest fashions and trends. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned to watch more videos of latest fashions and trends. Meet you with another interesting video. Bye for now.